All right, extending the range of FRS, GMRS, and PMR radios. Um, I think this way is actually legal because of rural state, you cannot uh, install an external antenna on these radios or it puts out too much ERP, direct effective radiated power. So what I've done here is devised a way to use the built-in antenna that it came with and just simply making it more efficient than it is. So what we're going to do is convert this into a real quarter wave. And when we're done, it's going to look like this. It's going to be bigger and uh, more efficient, maybe 50% more range. And simply all you have to do is take your hand or some pliers and grab this coil and extend it all the way so there's no kinks in it. Make it as straight as possible and then you simply uh, measure from the circuit board to the uh, end of the antenna, measure it at six inches, just cut it and then wrap it in some tape or add some PVC to it like that and that's it. You're going to improve your range for sure, not dramatically but noticeably. And to get the measurement here you could take the radio apart or you could just, uh, when you have it straight, just kind of take a toothpick or, or something like that and just kind of measure how far it is from here to the circuit board and then minus that from your uh, total length because you want your total length to be six inches at uh, FRS. And um, definitely improves the range. It's a little, little more awkward, but receive and transmit will be better uh, using this method. Uh, another trick you could do is get yourself a cheap scanner like that. You can get them for pretty cheap on eBay. I got this one for like 10 bucks. It's an old scanner. It does uh, the FRS bands. UHF 462 megs, megahertz, and attach it to uh, an external antenna like this. This is a magnetic antenna. It's used by a lot of couriers and mobile applications. This one is uh, called the MUF4505 by MaxRed, and it has a tuning chart. You can tune it to like 463 megahertz, and it's got 5 dB gain. It will dramatically outperform these little built-in antennas. And when using one of these, just attach it to something uh, metal, like a filing cabinet or a cookie sheet pan like this, just to give it a ground plane. And you simply use this as your receiver and do all your transmitting on your uh, legitimate FRS radio. And uh, talk on here and use that to receive the people you're trying to listen to. And if both sides do that, you're going to probably uh, like uh, easily double your range, maybe triple, maybe four times if both parties do it. But that would be a legal way to extend your range. And if you mount this thing outside as high up as possible, use some a uh, little bit of extra cable if you have to. Use good stuff though, and that will really help. Definitely, uh, definitely showed an improvement in the range when I uh, simply extended this antenna and made it a real quarter wave. Um, another thing people do is add external antennas like this, but that's technically illegal, so we're not going to be transmitting on this. We added an external antenna to it, and we use this one for receive only. So in that case, it's legal if you don't transmit with it. But uh, however, a lot of people make a mistake when they do this. If you don't attach a ground wire uh, to the outside part, then the whole length of your coax and antenna will act as one antenna, and it won't even uh, tune properly. Or if you attach the ground wire from a circuit place on the circuit board that is too far away from the ground, if you leave like a three-inch piece in there, then the whole length of cable in here will act as an antenna and change where your antenna is tuned for and it won't work. So if you are doing this, you have to attach your ground as close as possible to the ground point on the circuit board. And it's the only way that will work. But if you want to stick to 100% legal, just extend the length of this to 6 inches, like that, and it will help. There you go, legal ways to extend your FRS radios. Um, and I said before, height is your friend when mounting your antenna. If using an FRS radio is indoors, get near a window or to the highest point in your house or get outside. The worst place to be obviously in a basement. So uh, the higher up you are, uh, the better your range is going to be for transmit and receive. And I hope that helps.